Bukhari expresses sadness over Israel's beheading of 10 Christians. Popular Moroccan YouTuber jailed for allegedly insulting King. British socialite others undergo investigation by FBI over alleged sexual assault. In sports, Fury set for a match with world heavyweight champion Wilder. Now, the news in full. President Muhammadu Buhari says he is sad and shocked over the execution of 11 hostages by Islamic State West African province. The Christmas Day executions claim the lives of 10 Christians and one Muslim. Iswap with three two other Muslims said the killings were carried out to avenge the death of their leaders Abu Baghdad, Baghdad and Abu Hazan Amujal in Iraq and Syria respectively. According to statement by the media aide to Buhari, Gaba Shew, said the president has appealed to Nigerians not to allow terrorists to divide the country. Meanwhile, the United Nations reacted to the killings, expressing deepest condolences to the families of the victims and reiterated its solidarity to the people and Nigeria government. President Muhammadu Buhari has urged young couples to always seek advice from exemplary persons. Buhari gave the advice while congratulating President of the Senate, Dr. Ahmed Lawan, on his son's marriage. Buhari advised the newly wedded couple to emulate the life of the Senate President, whom he described as balanced. A statement by Buhari's senior special assistant on media and publicity, Malam Gabashew, which stated that the newly wedded should focus on learning from those with good exemplary marital life. Report says, barely three days to the deadline given by the Nigerian Labour Congress to states to conclude negotiations on the implementation of the 30,000 Naira new minimum wage. Some state governors started a last-minute rush to meet the deadline of the labor union. The NLC had in a communique issued at the end of its meeting with the state council chairman said it will not be able to guarantee industrial peace and harmony in states that failed to conclude negotiations and begin payment of the new minimum wage by December 31. However, White Cross River, Taraba and Ondo states have set up committees to negotiate with the unions before the deadline. Oyo, Gombe and Imo states have not shown commitment to meet up with the deadline. Also, Benue, Enugu, Baesa and Ebony states have ruled out the possibility of meeting up with the deadline. At least 35 people have died in clashes between traders and military men in the Central African Republic capital, Bangui, the local Red Cross says. Dozens more have been injured and about 50 shops burnt down. The fighting took place in the mainly Muslim PK5 district on Bangui, an area often troubled by violence. The clashes started when the shopkeepers fought back against our local military, which has been trying to force them to pay taxes. A well-known Moroccan YouTuber had been jailed for four years and fined about $4,000 after being found guilty of insulting the country's king. Mohamed Shekaki was arrested earlier this month after criticizing King Mohammed's speeches and for calling Moroccans donkeys. He plans to appeal against the verdict. Separately, journalist and human rights activist Omar Rade has been arrested for allegedly tweeting an insult about a judge in April. He has been remanded in custody 
until January 2. The death toll in the passengers' death that crashed in Kazakhstan has been put at 12, while dozens are said to have survived, some with serious injuries. The back airplane was flying from Almaty, Kazakhstan, to the capital, Nazaltan, when it smashed into a building just after takeoff. The Fokker 100 aircraft had 93 passengers and five crew members on board. Survivors described walking from the wreckage into the dark and snow. Dozens are being treated in hospital even as the cause of the crash is unclear. The Interior Ministry initially said 15 people had been killed, but it later revised the number of victims down to 12. British socialite Gisley Maxwell and several others are being investigated by the FBI in the fallout of the Jeffrey Epstein case, sources have told United States and other media. The first investigation over possible crimes linked to the sex trafficking charges laid against the U.S. financier before he killed himself in August. MS Maxwell, a longtime Espin friend, has not been accused of wrongdoing. Espin had been charged with sex trafficking of dozens of girls. He was arrested early this year following allegations he was running a vast network of underage girls, some as young as 14, for sex. He pleaded not guilty. It is Pensioners 106.7 FM. We will be back with some entertainment and sports stories. Now on entertainment news, Walt Disney World employees who work as Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse and Donald Duck have filed police complaints accusing terrorists of inappropriately touching them. Three female cast members complained of to police about incidents at the theme parks near Orlando, Florida. The woman wearing the Mickey Mouse costume said she was injured by a grandmother who patted her on the head. The women who played Minnie Mouse and Donald Duck alleged they were raw dropped. Police told the woman who placed Mickey Mouse the incident was a civil, not a criminal matter. Composer Jerry Herman, who created the music and lyrics to classic Broadway shows like Hello, Dolly, and Lakeji Ox Follies has died age 88. The star, who was diagnosed with HIV in 1980s, died in Miami of pulmonary complications, his, godfather, his goddaughter told Newsman. Herman won two Tony Awards and two Grammys and was known for his melodic, sentimental, and unbeat style. One of his best known songs was I Am What I Am, which became an LGBT anthem. Choreographer Sir Matthew Bourne led tribute to the musician, describing him as one of the all time ages. BBC. Tyson Fury's rematch with world heavyweight champion Dotane Wilder will take place in Las Vegas. On 22 February, both fighters have confirmed. Britain Fury drew with undefeated American Wilder in December 2018. Wilder, whose WBC belt will be on the line when they meet at the MGM Grand, tweeted that there will be no more unanswered questions. Fury told fans on social media to watch him knock out the Otain Wilder. To end news around the world on Pensioners 106.7 FM, here
here is a recap of the main stories. President Mohamedou Buhari has expressed sadness over reports that Iswas beheaded 10 Christians. A popular Moroccan tube, YouTuber Mohamed Zekaki has been jailed for allegedly insulting the King of Morocco. British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell and others undergo investigation by FBI over alleged sexual assault. In sports, Tyson Fury is set for a rematch with world heavyweight champion Jotin Wilder. For any information, contact us on these mobile numbers 081-200-86270 or 081-2188-9462 or visit us at Oyo State Pensioners House at Barigo Onireke Ibado. The news editor is Yetunde Oke assisted by Michael Adeyemo. On behalf of the production crew, I am Adeola Fasuru. Good afternoon. From the rising to the setting of the sun, here is the first labor radio in Africa.